The military situation in northwestern Syria is steadily escalating. On April 10th and April 11th, the Turkish army and its proxies shelled positions of Kurdish armed groups in northern Aleppo. The most intense shelling took place near the areas of Tel Rifat, Sheikh Hilal, Bosofane, Al Malakia, Maranaz, Kaftanun, Kashtar, Al Arshadiya, and Mena Air Base. On April 12th, the Kurdish led Afrin Liberation Forces announced that they had struck a position of the Turkish army near the area of Sharafat in the same part of Syria with an anti tank guided missile. According to the Kurdish group, three Turkish soldiers were killed and three others were injured. Two vehicles of Turkish forces were allegedly destroyed. Both Turkish forces and Kurdish armed groups claim that their attacks are retaliatory strikes only and accuse each other of regular acts of aggression and terrorism. The Russian military police is reportedly working to establish four new observation posts near the town of Teltamir in Syria's northeast. According to local sources, Russian forces have already checked the area and are now preparing to establish permanent positions near Al Abush, Om Kaif, Abu Rasan, and Zerkan. Kurdish sources claim that this move is a forced measure needed to put an end to the regular ceasefire violations by the Turkish army and its proxies. Despite these claims, the Turkish-Russian ceasefire deal on the operation of Turkey's Operation Spring Shield still works successfully, preventing a resumption of large-scale hostilities in the region. In southern Idlib, the Turkish army is fortifying its positions near the contact line with Syrian forces near the town of Serkib. According to the Syrian army, at least 50 Turkish vehicles entered the region of Greater Idlib on April 12th alone. Pro-government sources describe such actions as a signal that the Turkish military is not planning to fight against Al-Qaeda-linked militants in Idlib, but rather preparing for a new round of confrontation with the Syrian armed forces. On April 11th and April 12th, intense artillery duels between the Syrian army and Turkish proxies were reported near the town of Albara in southern Idlib and the Hadada hilltop in northern Latakia. Later, Hayat Tahrir al-Sham, formerly the Syrian branch of al-Qaeda, claimed its forces had repelled a Syrian army attack in the vicinity of the town of Kafir Ta in western Aleppo. Militants claimed that an officer of the pro-government forces was killed. Pro-Damascus sources reported no notable clashes in the area, but such claims by Idlib armed groups are a useful signal of the current level of tensions in the region. Greater Idlib is steadily moving towards the resumption of full-scale military hostilities. The Syrian army and its allies fully repelled ISIS attacks near al-Sakna and Wadi al-Wayir in the province of Homs, killing two dozen terrorists, according to pro-government sources. Clashes in the area broke out last week after ISIS cells conducted a large attack on positions of Syrian troops involved in a security operation in the area. Pro-militant sources claim that up to 40 Syrian soldiers were killed in the confrontation with the terrorists. Currently, the army is deploying reinforcements to the countryside of al sakna Most likely government forces are planning to conduct a new security operation against ISIS cells hiding in the desert.